It's about 18 degrees outside right now, about 10.30 in the morning, just a little bit after 10.30 in the morning on Saturday. And that's a little bit of sun that we're going to get today. It's pretty cloudy, overcast. <clears throat> but I am fixing to do the, the front brakes on my pickup. I need to get this done. This is about the most level part on my property that I can drive a truck on at least. And uh, I've got the, my chariot is got one wheel up off the ground already, broke the lug nuts free. And this is kind of why I wanted to show the video. I like to keep old hubcaps so that I have something to put all my parts in. I don't like mechanicing. I usually don't mechanic a whole lot, but certain things I will do, and brakes are one of them. And, uh, but I like to keep a, a hubcap around just so that I can put my spare parts in. And this hubcap <coughs> that I found just happens to be Ford, so. I kind of like that hubcap. Usually it just hangs on the wall as an art of wall decoration, but also it doubles as a nut holder, uh, parts holder when I am doing projects. So I am going to get to this and hopefully get this done. Uh, I'm no professional. It's going to take me about five times as long as it would take a normal person. But there is nothing normal about me, that's for sure. But I do need to get it done, so I better start now before I, so I can beat the darkness. Oh man, it's actually turning out to be a fairly nice day. The sun's out and about shining on me. Uh, it seems to be going a little bit easier than I thought it would, so hopefully that'll keep up. Uh, I'll get this done sooner than I thought. But I did want to take a picture of the sun really quick so I could show everybody it was shining on me. My truck's back over in my driveway. Um, seems to be working just fine. It stopped when I needed it to stop so far, so I call that a success. It's... Obviously the sun has gone down. Uh, it took me longer than it would take a normal person to do breaks, but I also had to go run do an errand in town with uh, my other truck. So, uh, so that took about an hour and a half away from me. So, it makes a big difference too. But trucks all put back together. I'm happy. And uh, I have I have a couple of uh, items that I saved some money on. It's not part of my dollar a day, but I, I just wanted to show you if you watch for deals, uh, you can you can always save money if you're watching for deals and ready to pick up on them, especially on stuff that you know you're going to use. So I made a couple of purchases this last week, and I'm just curious uh, how much money I actually saved. This bag of dog food is normally $42.59. It was ripped open, taped back shut, and $4 off. Um, so I'm gonna figure out price Price per pound is $1.06 uh, for a 40 pound bag. And now I'm gonna see if I actually saved money or lost money by buying this bag with four dollars off i'll throw it on the scale and i'll let you know okay so it is now on the scale and let's see i don't know there we go sorry about that so it's saying that i actually gained weight in this bag which i know it's not possible but i've never actually taken a full bag of dog food and seen how much it weighs so 40 pounds, 6 ounces, 
is what the scale is telling me this weighs. So, yep, I'm going to tell you, I saved money. Just how much? Uh, give me a second. Let me get the calculator, and I'll let you know. So, according to my calculator, I paid almost 96 and a half cents per pound, um, which is a savings of about 10 cents per pound over what I normally have to pay for this dog food. I was really expecting to be missing at least a half a pound of dog food or something like that. So it really surprises me that it uh, still says that it's the same weight inside. So that makes me happy. I'm very happy about that. So I definitely uh, I saved $4 on this bag or $0.10 cents a pound. So Almost $0.10 cents a pound, not quite. And then I, I have one more item, a uh, 25-pound bag of salt. Let's get that out and see if I actually saved money on that. And so here is a bag of Morton table salt. $4 off again. And this would have been the bottom of the bag. Obviously, everything is upside down. It's not my camera doing tricks. And I do have my... I am filming it the right direction, but it's just because the uh, bottom of the bag is what was torn. So I'm assuming some of this leaked out. But, again, my scale is saying that I actually gained four ounces. or 0.4 of a pound of, you know, I, I'm thinking it's supposed to be pounds and ounces. So 25 pounds, four ounces. So again, I definitely saved money on this. Um, so the, that bag normally costs me $12.19. Uh, or 49 cents a pound and I paid eight dollars and 19 cents for that bag and I saved four dollars um, how much did I pay per pound give me a second and I'll figure that out so on this bag of salt I saved just over 16 cents per pound so I'm happy with that deal also now I have to find containers to, to put this salt in, and I'll just use uh, two liter bottles or maybe even uh, juice bottles to put this in so it'll be protected. And this salt will go into my long-term storage because star salt will store forever as long as it is uh, kept out of the humidity and stored right. It'll store forever and I'll ha always have it. This is a lot of salt to get at one time, but uh, if I buy it now, it stores forever. That means 10 years from now, I'll still have salt because that's a lot of salt to use. It's always good to stockpile salt. Any chance you get to uh, save a little bit of money, uh, that's what I would do. Now, the funny thing is, is when I first started buying these bags of salt, uh, this is about the price this $8.19 is about the price I used to pay for the bags of salt uh, intact. So that's just how much the uh, cost of the salt has gone up. And the, the next item that I have is uh, it's pure blended oil. So I'm not really 100% familiar with pure blended oil, but it is canola oil and soybean oil. We usually just get vegetable oil, but vegetable oil right now for us is, show picture below. And so as you just saw in that photo, uh, the vegetable oil is 449 for 48 ounces. Uh, we used to pay I mean, just a week ago, it was two for seven dollars, um, and now which is three fifty a, 
a bottle so it's gone up about a dollar over the last week um, and prior to that we were paying $2.99 for that oil <clears throat> you know but that was you know like a year ago we were paying $2.99 for the vegetable oil in a 48 ounce bottle so right now this blended oil is $2.99 after you get the dollar off so pretty much the pre <clears throat> period so the, the price is just um, what we used to pay for it a, a couple of years ago what we used to pay for vegetable oil so I you know there was probably eight of these bottles I would say and I grabbed four because at that price I, I wanted to have it and you might be thinking well what's the date on it well it took me forever to find the date because they hide it so stinking well that you can't hardly see it but it says February 28th 2023 so we will definitely be able to use this oil up we have a long time to use it up uh, a little bit over a year to get it used up so no problem there and I did look on all four bottles and they're all the same so yep those are my savings uh, this week just from going and checking out the markdown section in the store it's always a good thing um, this is just one of the ways that I can make my dollars stretch a little bit farther and I can stock up just a little bit more and I'm always about stretching that dollar pinch those pennies make the pennies work for you don't work for your pennies if I have to pay $45 for a bag of dog food I might just uh, throw a little bit of a fit tell the dogs they need to come up with their own way of making money it's getting kind of expensive for the dog food. When I first started buying this dog food, it was $27 a bag. And it was right around that price for so long, for a very long time. And then all of a sudden, bam, it started climbing and it's just been climbing ever since. Getting really bad now. At these prices, I really can't afford to fatten the dogs up to butcher them either. Hmm. Oh, you see that the scale is back out again, so you know what that means. I have another deal I have to check out and see if I actually saved money or not. So this is uh, chicken pellets that we use for our chickens. Or our chicken, because we're down to one. Sorry, I always say chickens. But anyway, so here we go. It's supposed to be a 50 pound bag of feed and when we get to the scale it still says that it weighs 50.3 pounds so I would say so normally um, this costs me $26.99 right now for chicken feed it's on sale for $24.99 and then, because the bag has a tear in it right there, they have a markdown sticker on it for $5 off. So I paid $19.99. So if my calculations are correct, I paid just about 40 cents a pound rather than. 54 cents a pound so I'm gonna say that I am a winner with this one also I've been having pretty good luck here recently with the uh, markdown feed for my dog food and for now now for my chicken and it's definitely stuff I would have been buying it's no uh, no choice if I want to have the animals, I have to be able to feed them. So I would have spent this money anyway. But when I have a little bit of extra money in my pocket, 
and I can see these in the stores, uh, I'll buy it because it'll store long enough. The chicken will eat it before it goes bad. So that'll do it for this, this bag. Let's see what else I might be able to find. So here we go again. Another bag of dog food that had a, a really small tear. The tear in this bag was about a quarter of an a quarter, about the size of a quarter. <clears throat> and show you the weight. It's still about the same as all the other bags have been. Get the 40.6 pounds. Uh, $44.99 for this bag, but the discount was $10 on this bag. So that's huge. That's $34.99 that uh, I spent on a bag of dog food um, rather than the, uh, the full $44.99. So that saves me quite a bit of money. I can do quite a bit with $10, that's for sure. So I'm happy to save that that money so yeah all, all of these savings they add up really really quick that's um, three bags of dog food uh, in the, about the same amount of time about one each week and that's a bag of salt 25 pound bag of salt um, trying to remember everything I saved quite a bit of money on the oil um, compared to what it is now I know I'm oh and chicken pellets. I bought I got a bag of chicken pellets. That was that was a good savings on that too. All stuff that I need to have, so it's all good. So I'm very happy with the savings and uh, like I said, if you just watch for the watching the, the clearance areas of the stores, most stores have a clearance area, and if you just go there and, and visit it each time you go to the store, uh, see what you might be able to pick up that you can use because <clears throat> um, you know I'm, I'm glad I go and look each time I go to this store I don't make specific uh, trips just to look to see what they have on clearance but if I'm in the store then I go and look at the clearance section definitely should be doing that and if you see something there that you can use I would buy it yeah, get it now because the prices are just going to get more expensive. Okay, that's about all I have to say on that matter. So, thank you for watching this edition of Not So Remote Alaska. May God bless and keep each and every one of you. And with that, I'm out.